It's the beginning of a brand new week, day number six for our strategy, and it was Labor Day today in the United States. Do the workers really need any more benefits over there? Don't they get enough already? Well, that's a joke, by the way. What we got on the charts, Euro US dollar pulled up. And it does look like it is going to close at just about a lower close for the last 20 periods, but could really do with something lower than this. If it was closing down towards the low, that would certainly be nicer. So going to hang on for a day here, see if we get a nice drop. If we get a big candle like that, but not too much volume on it, I'd certainly be willing to take a divergence against this sort of dip here or that dip. So we'll see what comes next there. And how about the other 27? Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar goes green. We want to see a push here for the Aussie dollar. See if we can get a couple big green days like this here. Get to that new high close, but do it quick enough to keep the OBV down against this peak up here. Would quite enjoy that trade. CAD yen's up at a new high again. Maybe we should take this one now. It is divergent compared to over here. I mean, we can see on the chart if we go back for 20 periods, certainly the highest close in price. And compared to the OBV, it's certainly at a lower high compared to this peak that it was previously. And the Swiss franc Japanese yen came in for us. Not the strongest signal, but it would be nice to start the week with a trade. Yeah, we'll give it a pop. CAD yen, not much else going on the chart, so we'll see what happens here getting into this trade. We've got 79 pips reading on the ATR. And so I'm sort of put in by the fact that our stop loss will be above this peak here, just about above the resistance level, giving us a bit of a chance for a return. Clearly more than two times the ATR away from the average as well. So as you know, standard market execution trades going in. 1% free trust sub trades. 1.78 standard lots on the volume. Let's sell off that CAD yen. Here we go. Divergence. Yes, please. Get us across the finish line. Stop loss, 79 pips for each of them. Sub trade A, 118.5 pips for the take profit. That's 1.5 times the ATR. And the custom trailing stop loss here of 790 pips, if we can punch that in correctly. Or 790 points, I should say. 79 pips, 1 times ATR once again. Let's pop that down. And it does seem doable, this take profit, but who knows when it comes to the markets. In the trade we go, though, and that'll be us for today. So we'll just come back tomorrow and see how it's getting on. Yep, yep. Day number seven, and we were pretty swiftly punished on this Canadian dollar Japanese yen trade. Out shouldn't have gone in on that one. Was a bit light on the divergence, clearly. So teaches us to be a little bit more careful. Try and maybe wait for a bit of bigger divergence next time. Stop loss got ran through in just over 10 hours. We got into the trade 10 to 12 yesterday and out of it just after 10 o'clock this morning. At the moment, though, honestly, you are seeing the benefit of the stop loss because price has run probably around about twice as far up. It was a real bad day for the yen. Got knocked on a lot of these charts. Ah, uh, well, it'll be. Let's see if we've got any replacement trades coming in. Euro dollar again goes low, but want to see a sharp candle, one of these sort of red ones, and especially after we've just experienced, we've got to be careful. Can't be taking too light of a divergence, even though we do see it running across here. You can see the dollar climb considerably against the yen as well. Over 1.5%, what a day for it. Even the euro having a heck of a day against the Japanese yen. The New Zealand dollar is closing at a 20 period high against the Japanese yen, but only just about against here. It is up at a resistance level, and there is some small divergence going on, but not against the high in price here. Not really convinced. We'll see what happens with it as it goes. Don't want to get caught out again. Oh, New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. Should we take this divergence? It's quite a big drop. That's taken us to there, so it is the lowest close. And we are well over two times ATR from the average. The divergence is so narrow here. Again, you can see where we're at there. And that's the divergence to over here and over here. But I'm feeling very unsure. And the problem is if we see another drop off like this, then we'll lose the divergence. I would imagine at least maybe some low volume would keep us in there just about. We'll give it another day, see where it ends up tomorrow. We'll keep a close eye on this one. That does mean no extra signals for us. So a pretty bad start to the week. The polar opposite of what we had last week. Overall, we have suffered more losses than gains because we couldn't get much out of that trailing stop loss on the Swiss franc Japanese yen last week. So we're down just a touch. We'll come back tomorrow, see if we can get back in the game. Day number eight, Wednesday in the middle of the week. And if we'd got into that New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar trade, might have been looking okay. Let's just see. I mean, the ATR is at just over 60 pips, and it did take a run down to begin with. 
certainly wouldn't have got anywhere near the stop loss though by the look of it only down by around about 30 pips or so in price so if we're in it we'd be about 30 35 pips up at the moment nothing conclusive though certainly wouldn't have taken profit on that good thing we got out the canadian dollar japanese yen though this is where those stop losses really save you even though they hurt when you get knocked by them another strong day against that yen yeah, it looks like yesterday could have been the day for the divergence on the euro us dollar pair has come up strong today don't think we'd be able to take profit level yet but might have been yesterday for the signal we were in for one of these big drop-offs candle like that or like that didn't come but that's okay and also on that swiss franc japanese yen trade where we did take profit it is suddenly looking very lucky like we just about managed to take that profit for boom right the other way big run against it that's why you do have to take profit in a good spot if you can no signals for us tonight let's try again tomorrow day number nine another day that we are thankful we had a stop loss in this canadian dollar japanese yen trade nobody wants the yen let's check the charts dollar coming back down in a meaningful way against the swiss franc really did hit a resistance level here two sharp red candles could be back to the moving average in another day or two australian dollar canadian dollar is hitting a lower close but the obv is just about with it it might be slightly higher in this back here but that's only two periods ago we need it to be at least four periods back so nothing for us there pound canadian dollar same deal it is a lower close but the obv that's also at a low there are no new signals tonight 24 hours of waiting it is day 10 the end of the second week us dollar getting crushed again against the swiss franc all these gains over the last few weeks absolutely disintegrated and we're seeing the other currencies strong against the dollar as well you can see the pound there even the yen new zealand dollar just not very strong for the dollar today australian dollar japanese yen there might be the smallest divergence in there it's only from two periods ago though just against this candle so nothing we can do about that even if we wanted to euro swiss franc there could be some potential coming up here if we saw another sharp day especially if it was on low volume come monday get priced beneath these closes down here but keep that obv high it could be an all right divergence signal same for the australian dollar new zealand dollar what a pump today if we see another day like that all we got to do is get above this close right here and the sooner it comes the stronger that divergence could be I like the look of that one no new signals to end the week so unfortunately we did just have the one trade on the canadian dollar japanese yen which turned into a loser two trades now we've had you can see the swiss franc japanese yen here on the last chart we've checked tonight Let's just take a look at those trades over in our trading journal. Here it is then, our journal. Nothing surprising going on as we expected. Two trades in 10 days, down at just over $400. When I was punching it in, I'd actually noticed what a severe swap cost we took on the CAD yen trade. I was a bit disappointed, about $23 for one night. Not ideal, but hopefully we'll get some more green. Hopefully we get some good trading stop losses. This is what's holding us back, only $83.40 from that sub trade deal on the Swiss franc Japanese yen. But we can cross our fingers so when we do get a winner at some point that'll really run nothing else to report on it there it is for your viewing pleasure we'll be back next week